What's the secret to success in life? And what's the secret to success running a trade business? And you might think it's being smart and you might think it's being beautiful, you know, like all the film stars and Kanye and all those. And, and what have they found, right? There's been some research done by a woman called Angela Lee Duckworth, a psychologist, to say that it's not those things and it's this other thing called grit. Now I'm John, I'm a business coach. I'm a business coach for tradies. I work with trades business owners who want to grow and scale their trades business and make a business and a future for themselves that they're proud of and, and that they want. And I think this grit is one of the uh, success factors you need to consider. So what's grit? It's these things. It's perseverance for very long-term goals. Perseverance and passion, they said, for very long-term goals. It's stamina. It's staying power. It's sticking with your future for years, day in, day out. It's working hard to make that future a reality for you. It's running life or your business as a marathon and not as a sprint. Now, this was quite funny, I thought. How do you get more grit? The answer is, they don't really know. And they were talking in the video, there's a link below if you want to watch the video, they were talking in the video about how to develop it in kids. And I rather thought I would try and translate that into how you can develop it in your role as a business owner, a trades business owner. The best thing they came out with was that being smart doesn't really help. Doesn't really help you be successful in life. Doesn't really help you get more grit either. The best thing they've got in terms of helping you get grittier, if that's what, if that's the thing, is to take the view that you can learn, that you can improve yourself, and that your experiences help you learn things. And don't believe that failure is final, that if you fail something, you can get up and have another go, and that that's okay. You know, and a lot of the stuff you see on Facebook and that about success is about failing and getting up and having another crack. So how does this translate into your trades business? specifically for you and we don't know how to make you more gritty inside but you can do the stuff right so here's your four point plan to being more gritty and to being more successful in your trades business right they said it's about perseverance and passion in chasing your goals so step one set some goals i would have thought that was quite obvious if you don't have any goals if you don't know where you're going you can't really persevere can you so set yourself some goals, decide where you want to go. How big do you want your business to be? What do you want it to become? What do you want it to be like, right? So you can set some goals and you might not be naturally inclined to persevere, but you can have a go, can't you? You can go, I'm going to try hard and stick to this. And you can set that as a goal. I'm going to stick to this for five years or 10 years or whatever, you know, as long as it takes, you can not give up. And that's like a decision I reckon you can just make, right? You can make a plan and write it down and stick to it. Now, I reckon you've got this far in business, so you've probably got some grit already, you know. You've achieved your apprenticeship, got your ticket, you've got so as far as you've got in working for yourself, so you must have some already, so you're in good shape. I think another thing you can do is get some help. Now, obviously, you can get help from me, that's my job, I'm a business coach, but you can seek help from, you know, your partner, your business partner, your wife, your husband, your mum, and your mates. Right? I think they're all good places to go to say, right, I've got a goal, I've got a plan, I've written it down, help me stick to it. When I'm feeling tired and fed up, you know, give me a bit of moral support, would you? Help me, help me not give up. I think it's clear that having some goals helps because it's hard to be passionate and persevere if you don't. I think I just said that. So that would be a good first step, setting some goals, having a plan is a good second step. And guess what? At my workshop, I'll help you do both of those things. I'll help you set some goals. I'll help you make a plan. And I'll give you, of course, an opportunity to hire me as your business coach if you really want to as well and help you stick to your plan. So there you go. Two links below the video. Want to watch the video? Want to read a bit more about this workshop I'm running in Byron? Two days over a weekend, all that. Happy reading, and if you don't want to come to Byron and you don't want me as your business coach, set some goals and make yourself a plan. Give yourself a head start. See ya.